Barnyard for PC's game that is both nostalgic and very fun. Barrett as a kid of games like GTA San Andreas and GTA Vice City were only the way both to play them temporarily in their kids' homes. This was my version of an open game world where we were capable of destroying things, having random minigames to take for when no one as annoying as the droid one in GTA San Andreas and more. Eventually, I'd play The Sims and Hidden Runs, and can this kind of edit, or as it's known in America, Bully. Yeah, just Bully. As my copy of this game was also for PS2, but for a number of years, this game was my open world game. So I decided to get a copy of this game to own PC instead of PS2 and see. Did it still hold up today? Well, let's jump on and see. As you can see from the intro, the game has you do a lot of things, and I do mean a lot of things. You can milk other animals, which now that I think about it sounds kind of disgusting. You can operate the man and the barn that at night turns into a barn. You can sort of customize it, which frankly with me is favorite thing to do, seeing my bar grow, or you can just wander around. What are you staring at? To have one story mode that would allow you to get more and more of the game unlocked about the GTA by getting gate keys, which I feel is a nice reward to keep playing, opening up more and more of the world to the player, trying to stop the coyotes from attacking the barnyard, attacking everyone. This gives you a sense of objective, but you're so free to hang it around all the time and frolic around, not advancing the story. Who's staring at? When the world finally opens enough for you to explore, which will happen in the first 15 minutes of the gameplay, you're free to wander around, not forgetting to do stuff. There's a buying and selling system going around, and an even earlier example of the crafting system. Yes folks, it didn't start with Minecraft, pick up the items from the floor, picking them up with the enter key, they go to your inventor, which you can access it while I you can use them to cook, craft or do many other things. Sometimes a certain item is highly in demand at the shop, the local shop, so you can get it and obtain profit and use it to buy an item for your barn night bar. Most mini games are also pretty fun. I particularly like the big one, which is likely to be the first swing cutter, which is just jumping over a pipe parking again until the last one sends. I'm taking on by my, my bets on my character here. 
The game is not without its issues, however. Playing it on a modern system, part of the bottom screen was good. How it came out fine in recording, it was not only visible. In the room, it only really affected cuts in the new way with for 2006 game, especially a movie license game for the PS2 and PC was fine. They were cartoony and vibrant, just what the kids want, and me as a kid also wanted. The audio while pleasant is repetitive, there's some tracks of guitar strumming here and there. It sounds still nice to hear, but doesn't mean it doesn't get repetitive. Throughout your journey towards the day and night, you can keep awake all day and all night, or your stamina will start to lower and your accuracy will start to decrease, amongst other things. So you got to pick one to be awake. Missions are only available to dur during the day, while some others are only available during the night. It's a fun system and it works very well for what it is. It's a for you, the player, to take breaks as now you've often. I feel that it's a much better system than Nintendo's. You've been playing for quite some time now, dear. Why don't you take a break? You brat, what are you staring at, you milky cow? Seriously, your stare is making me kind of uncomfortable. In terms of what you're kind of put in the middle of the movie characters, you're a new cow, male or female. The farmer bot and you quickly integrate. Standard kid movie fair. You animals can walk and talk, but no owner is in the way of that. Nothing much to add, except to experience the movie plot alongside the characters, the good and the bad. As per usual, I don't spoil the movie time game, so... are the game to tie into the movie from Nicktoons movie which name made Jimmy Newton by Genius which turned into a soul which Barnyard also turned into a soul but does Barnyard the video game weren't a person's I think so or well, my memories may be a tad affected by nostalgia everything I saw in this video game 10 years ago I saw in it today it's a very fun video game, filled with fun mini games in the wild. Wait, if I didn't my character are male, how are they suiting me? Oh my god, I think I'm going to...